Mummy had it, so did my sister, so I have to have it. <laughs> Right, that's just to give you a taste of what's ahead. The game itself, the first round, you have three definitions on offer for the first word, and you get 15 points if you get it first off, and points decrease as the time goes along. Anyway, let's get to it first of all. Kenneth and Simon won the toss, and uh, Kenneth, it's you first go. 15 points. Here is the word for our audience, and it is Veronica Miller, age seven of Newcastle, to define it. There's a Mr. Men called Mr. Uh, you know. <laughs> He is very itchy. You know. <laughs> and he tears newspapers, gets marmalade on them, <laughs> accidentally puts <laughs> the cat into the bath instead of its basket. And he gets through several doorknobs. <laughs> so does Mr. Strong. <laughs> well, that's Veronica. What are they, Kenneth? What's the word? A uh, conjurer. That's not the word, so we've got more children to watch. The points go down to ten now. That's the availability for you, Fred, if you watch Tony Brooks, an 11-year-old from Stagursey. Um... This means this is someone who can't do anything, uh, just do everything wrong. Um, you can't give them something to do and they'll do it without doing something wrong. Um, it's not that they're unbrainy or anything. It's just that, like, bang into things and everything, kind of like that. Um, not, to have, not very good to have around your house. Or you have to pay quite a bit of money after they've been around the house. Thank you very much, Tony. Well, not unbrainy, but certainly expensive. Fred, what's your guess? Silly or stupid? Neither of those. So, for five points, Simon, back to you. Are you ready? Two people to watch now, Alice and Luke Hargreaves, aged six and ten of Sheen. Someone, Someone who is it? Trips over their shoelaces. Um, knocks spills, knocks, spills ink all over the books, their books. Knocks, um... Knocks people over. And drops things. <laughs> there you are, the Abbott and Costello of East Sheen there. Uh, five points, Simon. Careless. No points there. The word is clumsy. That's what they were trying to say. Anyway, no points at the end of that one. Let's go on to another word straight away. And Lisa, it's for you first try. Here is the word on the screen for our viewers. And Nicola Smith, a ten-year-old of Newcastle, will now define. This is like a place where... Um, I don't think no one's ever came back from when you go up there, you don't come back again. And <laughs> you can um, take it easy and you don't have to go to work or school. Well, you'll be past school age anyway, probably when you <laughs> Right, thank you, Nicola. I think we're all in with the chance here. Lisa, what do you think for 15 points? Prison? <laughs> <laughs> you gather that's wrong. Right. But uh, it gives us a chance now to hear the lovely definition from Victoria Wilson. This is for you, Simone. Victoria Wilson, a nine-year-old from Dunblane. It's the best thing that ever happened to you in your life, and you really think it's fantastic. And it's really nice. For me, it would be free admission into Sterling Swimming Bath. <laughs> Free admission to Sterling Swimming Bath would be Victoria's idea of this, Simon, for 10 Heaven? Point. Heaven, you say. Can't accept that. That's not the word on the card. Back we go to you, Fred. Your chance to have one more look. This time it's Christopher Wishart, an eight-year-old of Kirkintilloch. Mm. It's not in Scotland. Um, <laughs> it must be a place that's quite hot. It would... Wouldn't be easy to get there. No plane or boat or car could ever get there. Sorry to say it's not in Scotland, Christopher. What do you think, Fred? Well, I'd plan for paradise. <laughs> well, we 
We got to paradise at last. That's right, five points to you. Next word, Kenneth, your first whack. Here is the word for our viewers, and it's Paul Sewell, a seven-year-old of Worcester, with his definition. Hmm. It's the look on people's face, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul, we're obviously boring him, keeping him up. So, <laughs> Kenneth, before he drifts off, what do you think? Uh, dreary. Not dreary. On we go to the other side. Fred, ten points worth for you. Sherry Ralph, aged eight, from Dorchester. Well, my dad does it when he does something wrong and he has to do it all over again. And, um, when, when, once, um, he couldn't reach the top of the, top of the car and then he did it and I, and I, and I used my little stepladder because it was too big for him, but it, I mean, it was too small for him, but it was, it was just right for me and I, and I got up and cleaned the top of the car for him. Yes, thank you, Joe. It's a very nice story, but I don't know if it actually helps you with the word, Fred. Well, I'm going to plump the two again, cross and sulk. Not doing you any good, this cross double, because uh, <laughs> it isn't either of those. So we've got yet another definition that goes back to you, Simon. For five points, try Zoe Curtis, a nine year old from Worcester. When your eyes go down, your forehead goes down, and your, eye, your eyebrows go down when you're unhappy with someone. There you are. When you're unhappy with someone, says Zoe. Simon. Miserable. Wow, we're not getting a very high score yet. No, the word was frown. That's what they were describing, the um. eyebrows coming down, the rest going up to meet it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no points yet, although five to Lisa and Fred so far. Here's another word then. Who will have first go? Lisa, let's offer it to you first. It's uh, up on the screen for the viewers, and David Mance, age seven, of Ottery St Mary, will do it. Um, there isn't anybody that hasn't got one. Well, it's more or less all of um, yourself. Apart <laughs> from your hair. Well, thank you, David. That was very interesting. Lisa, what do you reckon? Body? Fifteen points. Body was the word, but we would just like you to watch for no points, just for the fun of it. Gregory Heard, an eleven-year-old of Ottery St Mary as well, giving his definition of body. I think inside it, it would look all gooey and it'd be red, white, and pink and dark red and all colours like that. There'd be big lumps of flesh and... <laughs> All long stringy things and Thank you, Gregory, very much. I'm certainly looking forward to our Sunday lunch. The scores now Lisa and Fred have 20, Simon and Kenneth, nothing. Never mind. We'll go straight on to our triple play round. This time we asked the children to write down definitions. We've got various children to write down definitions. We took three for each word. Each team has 45 seconds to guess as many words as they can. For ten points go, the more definitions I have to read, the less chance you have of getting points. So, it's uh, Simon and Kenneth, you're behind, so you go first. Who will speak? Oh, Kenneth. Yes. Kenneth? I'm a terrible big mouth, so I'll speak. All right, then. <laughs> Up on the screen comes our time machine and 45 seconds. Here's the first word. It's a thing that spins around and hums. Uh, to top. Yes, next word. You can hang it on the wall. Picture. It's seven years bad luck if you break one. A mirror. Next word. It plays a note when you press it. Uh, you unlock things with it. A key. Key, that's right. Next word. You throw it away. Uh, uh, litter. It's a Chinese boat. Uh, you find it in special yards. Scrap. Junk is the word. Next Junk. word. There's one in the shops every year. A sale. Yes, next word. It's something children do more than adults. Play. Yes, next word. He lives on a boat. A uh, sailor. Yes, next word. It's a bit of bacon. Uh, it's, a, it's a team in football. 
uh, side. Yes, next word, you can get a brass one. A brass monkey. <laughs> it's a rubber thing that stretches. Ra <laughs> <laughs> the answer is band. Band. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very nice try. 70 points you got there, so you have 70 altogether. Well done. Oh, cool. That's what you've got to beat, Lisa and Fred. Who's going to speak for you? Uh, Lisa's going to Lisa, have a right show. <laughs> 45 seconds, remember? Ready for the first word? Up goes the time machine, and here it comes. They grow on river banks. Flowers. They strangle other plants. Weeds. He's right. Next word. You hear them on the radio. Records. It's something that is found in fruit. Peel. 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 Pips. <laughs> Pips is right. Next word. Bees do it. Peas do it. Bees. Bees do it. <laughs> Yes, next word. You eat with them. Fork? Knife? It's a great white shark. Teeth. Uh, teeth. It's a gory film. Jaws. Jaws. Thank you. Quiet, please. <laughs> you weigh yourself on them. Uh, scales. Yes, next word. This means to frost a cake. Icing. You do it on your Christmas tree. It's a glitter. It's when you make your room look pretty. Decorate. Decorate is right. Next word. It's like soup, but with more meat. Stew is right. Okay, you've got that. You've got 70. Your score is now 90. Well done. <laughs> so it's 70 to Simone and Kenneth and 90 to Lisa and Fred. And we'll have a tiny break here and leave you with another definition. Now, it's interesting the images that spring to mind. Here is Lucy Fennings, aged eight, talking about the word tight. Well, it's like my mum's pants. <laughs> Lisa and Fred have 90, but we have big points coming up in this round which could change the score. It's our bonus round where we got several children to define one word. And because children's definitions vary enormously as they think about this particular word, it's a difficult one and therefore it's worth 50 points a go. Simon and Kenneth, you're behind, so you're going first. The word is coming up for the audience, so you two listen carefully. The taxis are different. Um... They have to get water from a well because they haven't got no taps there. <coughs> they go around showing off. They've got a different language. Mm. Water. Yeah. Now all the children wear mini skirts and rings and that. They speak with on. Speak with an it accent. Well, you might find some of that misleading. I'll just recap on one or two things. It's a place where they have to get water from wells because they haven't any taps. All the children wear mini skirts and rings and that, and they speak with an it accent. For 50 points, Simon. Foreigners. That isn't the word, but you can redeem this. You've got 50 points still if Kenneth can come up with the answer. What is on the card? Gypsy. Good, intelligent, splendid answers, but wrong. The word is America. That's how they see America. <laughs> Maddening, isn't it? Well, if you think that's difficult, try this next one. Lisa and Fred, it's up to you this time. Here is the word. Listen carefully. I think Paul Daniels is it, and blue pe te people have to be it. You're not tall or short. You're just right, Ed. You're not fat or thin. You just... In between. Play school people have to be it. And... <laughs> um, you can call a woman, you can call a woman this, but it doesn't sound right. I don't think the milkman is yet at all. <laughs> Well, Fred, you're looking mystified. I'll remind you, they've said that Paul Daniels is it and the Blue Peter people have to be it. It means you're not too tall or short, you're just right. And Tom Groves there doesn't think the milkman is it at all. <laughs> What's the word for 50 points? Clever. Not so. So, Lisa, can you get 50? Normal. <laughs> <laughs> the word is handsome. Oh! <laughs> anyway, the scores now remain the same. Simon and Kenneth, 70. Lisa and Fred, 90. Well... 
It's uh, catching up time, though, because it's buzzers at the ready, because we go into our fast play final, and each child would define one word. If you're sure you know what that word is, leap to your buzzer and get yourself 20 points. If you're not too sure, well, it pays to wait sometimes, because if you get it wrong, the other side can see the rest of the definition in comfort, and then guess when they feel like it. All right, are you ready? We're not going to tell anybody what the word is, but when you hear this... It means the time is up and we'll have a winner of the entire game. Righto, are you ready? Stand by your buzzers. Here's the first word from Holly Aiken, age 11, of Dorchester. Right, um, it's like a balloon, um, like a half circle, and you wear it on your back um, when you jump out of helicopter. Lisa got there first. <laughs> Parachute. You've broken your wrist, but that's right. 20 points. Here's another word from Diana Greenwood, age 8, of Kirkentillich. Yeah. Made of wood, clay, or ivory. Kenneth, a pipe. Pipe is right, 20 points. <laughs> Another word then from Jeremy Board, he's five, of Ottery St Mary. A duck has it. A goose has it. Kenneth again. Beak. Beak will do nicely, 20 points. <laughs> Victoria Baker, age nine of Newark, with a word. He's from Ireland. He's got black hair. And, um... He's got a very thin microphone. Lisa. Terry Wogan. He's right, 20 points. <laughs> How did that get in here? Right, next word here from Samantha Kolodinska again. That six-year-old from Dorchester. It's in a blue box. They're all different colours. There's different shapes. Um, people keep them safe until it's time to do whatever they're going to do with them. And when they, when everything's ended and they want to throw them, they throw them at the wedding. Oh, Lisa and Fred. Confetti. Confetti. Well waited. Once again, Holly Aitken, age 11, from Dorchester. Right, they're pink. They've got quite big ears. They have hooves, funny little tail. They can be quite good pets, and they make sort of a squealing noise. Lisa, you're waiting, I must say. What do you say? Pigs. Pigs, right, 20 points. <laughs> Here is Marco Ford, age 10, from Stogersi. It's when people have long sticks with a thing on the end like a little wooden ball in the end except for it's been cut in half and you have to hit this white thing with little dents in it and it's made Fred. golfer golf is the word that's good enough 20 points to you here's Anne Marie Upham a 10 year old of Ottery St Mary you can write with it my teacher uses it in lessons you can draw on the floor with it Kenneth Chalk. Chalk is right. 20 points. Well done. Next word, please. <laughs> Philip Shuttleworth, age nine, from Dorchester. Well, if you want a house, you you would go to him um, and, and choose which house you want. Kenneth, you've done it. An agent? Not agent. So, well, what we do now is, is for the others to relax, Lisa and Fred, and watch the rest of this definition. Tell us what you think it is. Rhymes the foundations of things. Mostly houses and flats. You may have missed a vital point there as the machine switched on again. He said he designs the foundations and things. Builder? <clears throat> Builder. The word is architect. Oh, Fred so said that. Did you? And didn't hear a sound. Sorry about that. That's life. Right, let's have another <laughs> word, shall we? Here is Abby Rumbold, age nine, of Sheen. It's a sort of um, game when you hold a little a uh, blue thing that's all yellow that's got string tied and you um, let go of it and hold it. Yo-yo? Yo-yo, yes, you redeemed yourself. 20 points there. <laughs> Another one then. Samantha Mason, age nine, from Dorchester. They're big things and they have this side arch and that's where all the barrels are and that's where they make the beer and the shandy. Kenneth? <laughs> Vols. Hmm? Vols. Vaults is wrong, uh, so I'll, there is no more to be seen, but would you like a guess, Lisa and Fred? 